Hello friends, now I want to explain the magnetic transmitter construction and how it is working. Here, this is the 4 pole field magnet and this is the armature core and shaft and this is the old VCD player head used for bearing and these are the two ring magnets, one is used for field magnet and another one is used for armature. This is the read switch which is used for sensing purpose. Now let us go to assemble the motor components. Now attach the one ray magnet with the field. Look at this. Due to the attachment of the permit magnet, the field get magnetized. Now I go to insert the armature. Now attach the another ring magnet to armature. Here, look at the armature pole and the field. Both are north pole so it repels each other that's why in the armature pole slides between the two field pole this is the reed switch okay and attach with one door magnet for sticking the reed switch for proper position okay okay here the field vein leads are Connected to the two LED and one diode, and the leads are connected to the positive, negative, and it is connected to the source 4.5 volt. Okay, now switch on the power source, the motor going to run. Okay. Before that, I want to explain how it is working. Okay, here the pole lies between the lies between the field pole, and it sensing the red switch. When the red switch sensing, the LED glows, and the field is energized, and the poles change to north pole to south pole and the uh, armature pole was attracted by the field pole ok after passing the lead switch the LED the lead switch go to off that means the LED is also off so the field is de-energized and the and it is the, and the pole changes from south pole to north pole so both poles are same it repels okay so due to attraction and repulsions of the armature and field poles the armature continuously rotating okay It can also possible to change the direction of the motor by shifting the lead switch. 